Paul? We've been putting this off as long as we could. Today is Maria's last day at the Weather Channel, so it's time now to send her off. But before we do, here's just a snippet of why we are going to miss you so much. Take a look. Trenton, like so many other cities in the east, tired. This is the fourth nor'easter for them to deal with. This parking lot was just covered as a tornado came from the south here. I've never experienced anything like this, so I am just as excited as everybody here. I'm meteorologist Maria La Rosa, live at the Belmont Park ahead of the Belmont Stakes. And it's so important to me as a family that when severe weather approaches, we have a plan. And those are just a few cool things to help celebrate Pi Day. So what do you guys think? Yeah, it was awesome. Yay. Happy Pi Day! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us this morning for the debut of Weekend Recharge. That's right. <laughs> it's World Naked Gardening Day. Although I'm going to have to put my mom hat on. What are you doing putting your <laughs> shoes on my table? Maria. Yes, Paul. Are you a glass half full or half empty type of gal? I am totally glass half full. <laughs> Whole structure right there in front of you. And Paul's head right in front of me. <laughs> we were just eclipsed by Paul's head. We're going to talk summer safety for your fur baby. I'm going to try to do the forecast. <laughs> With little Max here. Come with me. Let's Becky, talk about he's the coming Northeast. home with a puppy. I'm just letting you know, girl. <laughs> Car wash forecast with a... <laughs> I don't know what that was. Paul's <laughs> Royce in the background. I like that. It's like a little Vanna White. There you go. Let's do this. You got to have that walk. Hey, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> my eyes. My eyes. <laughs> Everything is amazing. It could be the smallest ice crystal, the biggest storm cloud. It's just taking a second to appreciate all of it and the awe and awesomeness of it. Uh, I, how do I get to be the first one to talk Aww. after that? <laughs> oh, well, I order, I order. Yeah, I order. Um, I'm so thankful, Maria, that I've gotten to overlap with you for the past two years. And I just, your constant passion and encouragement and kindness has been so great. Oh my goodness, yeah. thank you. So thank you for making this really fun and for just showing me how to do TV. This is super fun, isn't it, right now? Yeah, this is great. <laughs> I really appreciate this. <laughs> thank you. And oh you know gosh. the cliche, it's with mixed emotions. Yes. I mean, today truly has been. And the whole team, Lisa and Edward Cash, we're happy for you because you get to spend time with your family mm -hmm. with your decision. Mm -hmm. And no one at the end of their life says, I wish I spent more time at work. <laughs> they wish they spent more time with their family and friends and loved ones, and you get to do that. And your boys, we're so lucky to have you there. We're also sad because professionally, this business is filled with people with ego, and you are not one of them. You are filled with love. You are generally just a nice person in general. And then in this business, you are such a professional. You are the utmost of what people strive to be in terms of being on-camera meteorologists. We love you. We will miss you. And we thank you for the time that you spent with us. And you made this show, help make the show, and our team the number one rated show on the network. So thank you for that. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you for everything. This is amazing. And now I'm wishing I wrote something in the prompter because I don't know if I can handle myself. First of all, this team right here and behind the scenes, I hope everyone at home knows amazing people that work so hard to give you the best in weather. And they really, they're all here. And Lisa and Edward, your undying commitment to the show and cash from the beginning. It's been a wonderful, pleasant surprise to get to know all of you guys. And I can't believe eight years has come and gone. But Paul, you were eight and a half, but um, but Paul's right. It was a combination of a lot of things, but at the end of the day, it was a need and a tug in my heart saying it was time to go back home. And um, I'm so grateful for the experiences and the adventure and the people and the lifelong friends and everyone watching at home. I appreciate you as well. And it's been fun hearing from people say, oh, I watched you in Columbus. I saw you in Cincinnati. We miss you in Philly, so thank you. And follow me. I'll, I'll have more to update, I'm sure. But thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's all raise a glass to thank Maria you. Rosa oh my goodness. and her future yeah. and her family. <laughs> Godspeed, Maria. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Behind thank the scenes, you. thank you.